what's going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is travis and i produce daily content for homeowners and new and unbecoming heating and air technicians teaching you everything you need to know about heating and air and on today's service call i'm going to be showing you how to do something easy how to replace a condensate pump for your air conditioner which pumps the water out we're going to replace one for a customer so i'm going to show you how to do it so i'll meet you inside okay guys this is the pump that we're going to be replacing now this has got three places that water comes in both our primary and secondary drain goes into our pump so this one right here is our primary drain this is our secondary and this is a drain that we have for for the heating system so we need to remove that take those out of the pump we need to take this line off that actually pumps the water outside and we've got our float switch safety switch that's wired in and then we have our main power that needs to be disconnected so basically how this condensate pump works is from your air conditioner the condensation from your AC unit will run down your primary line take this off it will drain into your condensate pump and you have a little float switch here that will raise and lower as the water level goes up when it goes up it'll click the pump will turn on and water will be pumped outside through this tube here so that's basically how our condensate pump works the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull power to our pump I'm going to disconnect our float switch. Alright, you've got two little screws on each side of your condensate pump. You basically want to loosen those up and you can take it off of the side of the furnace. you got to remove your your drain lines from the from the condensate pump get those out and then we're going to take our water line off okay this is the pump that we're going to replace it with it's pretty much exactly like the pump we're taking off it's got three openings in the top that you can put your drains in. This is where we hook up our vinyl tubing to pump the water outside. And right here you've got, this is your float safety switch. And here is for your, your power plugs into your receptacle. Now always when you do a condensate pump, if you look here it's got a little piece of cardboard. You've got to remove that piece of cardboard out of the condensate pump so the pump will actually be able to, it kind of holds the, the float switch in place during shipping. You always got to pull that out uh, to make it operate. So let's attach this onto the furnace. So all I did is we got our two screws that were still here from the old condensate pump those little grooves you just set them on the screws and basically you tighten it back up and it's made to be able to be mounted on the side of a furnace or side of a wall or something like that so that's what those those grooves are for. okay now all we got to do is we got to put our lines back in Slide them back in those holes. Put our vinyl tubing back on. We take our two wire nuts, hook our float switch back up.
and then replace main power. All right, everything's on and secure. So everything with this pump should be fine. All right, guys, well, that's how you do a condensate pump. Really, really easy job. Anybody can do this. So if you ever go to your, your air conditioner furnace and uh, find water around your pump, or your pump is just constantly running, will never turn off, basically go to Lowe's Home Depot, buy you a new pump. Now you know how to put it in. So uh, easy service call. Uh, at, at most, I mean, this took us five minutes to do. So nothing really hard about this job at all. So guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. It means so much to me. And as always, guys, I will see you on the next service call. Bye.